recently and it's the same band and I know it's, it's, it's an artist that I mention a lot but when I heard Ishan's solo album Aramita it gave me the same feeling all over again as if discovering a new style of music. Ishan is from Emperor and Emperor I always felt was a black metal band ahead of the game. They always had things going on in their music that I felt was revolutionary for the genre. And with Aramita when I first put it on and I heard saxophones and horns and clean singing and jazz chords and black metal screaming and melodicism and uh, beautiful moments and angry moments, it, it showed me that you can do anything with music. Whatever you feel like you want to do in music, you can. And once again, he's even enhanced that further with his new record, uh, Das Zeland Russian, which is about to come out soon. It was one that I started up, and I haven't done this since I was a kid listening to Flames records. And I mean. When I was a kid and I'd, I'd get a record that I love, I'd lay on the floor with my headphones with a CD booklet and lay on the floor and just read through the lyrics, kind of close my eyes and just listen to the music, just do that. That's something I feel like no one does anymore. So when I started up Das Zeland Russian, I heard the music and I was like, uh, uh, I hit stop. I put it on my iPod because I didn't have a CD of it. I laid on the floor, my dog came over and started looking at my face and I just laid there and listened to that record because I, I knew it needed my undivided attention. I listened to it start to finish and that's something that people don't do these days. They don't take the time to appreciate a record from start to finish. And it was nice to, to know that I needed to do that for the record. And that new record, the same thing I felt about Aramita, it's even more so with the new record. So it's always cool to find that. Um, newer stuff, the only stuff I really get like, I guess, excited for like a new release is from a band that I've been a fan of for a long time. Like any of the stuff I grew up listening to, if there's like they're putting out a new record that's like, I gotta get it like as soon as it comes out. But uh, as far as like anything like musically that, like I'm like, I gotta learn how to play that for like to specific, like there's a lot of stuff I'll hear like maybe like someone do a guitar solo, like oh that was a cool part. Like in the solo, like it just kind of came out with like, oh that's really like a cool technique, I gotta learn that. And um, not really too much of that, but the only, there was a guitar player that I kind of picked up from, um, instructional websites that I really like a certain like, the style that he plays is uh, Andy James he plays in the band Sacred Mother Tongue um, he has like a lot of solo stuff and I really like his guitar technique and stuff so I kind of I kind of pick, pick stuff out of his playing that like just different techniques that I'm like never really got into or never really learned that I've been kind of like trying to learn some more advanced like kind of crazier stuff that I just never really kind of picked up on before and he's a uh, he's somebody that I I like to kind of like pick apart his playing and learn little things that I can kind of uh, squeeze in them to my stuff to have a new trick or something. So. <laughs>